Hi, my name is Pavel Spechalski and today let's talk about great deals you can get in China because China, I say it on multiple occasions, is a magical place when you can either buy relatively good and yeah, reasonably priced or even cheap and good quality things and from time to time you can be just buying total absolute crap. Today's topic, today's topic are the eight 1615 lithium batteries that we are using in the RC hobby from time to time, but not, on, not only us as the RC enthusiasts, but also the vapors, or they run most of the appliances uh, battery operated around us because they are well good. Why? They are relatively small, cheap and the lithium is much better tech battery technology than the older ones, so it makes sense to use them. If you want to buy a good 18650, like from Samsung, LG or Sony, VTC5, VTC6, you have to spend, well, let's say, five bucks for one. This is very important for one, and they will tell you that this uh, normal discharge single battery will cost you, like I said, around five bucks, maybe six, maybe seven, depending really on the battery, and it will have reasonable capacity of between 2,000 2,200 milliamps uh, milliamp hours up to really max is 3,000 something. And this gives weights like around 50 grams, 46, maybe something else, and will cost you accordingly a few, uh, few bucks per, per milli per amp hour. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. But if you go to China and to the AliExpress, you can get great, great, amazing deals over there. Because, for example, you can buy a battery, let me find my personal favorite. 9,000, look, focus, look, here, 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 9,000 milliamp hours, 9,000, good, Samsung, 3,000, this one, like 9,000 milliamp hours for like two bucks, great deal, come on, not only is like three times cheaper, it's three times more capable, more capacity, so it's nine times better, yeah, is it? Don't get me wrong, but if the best companies, and really by the best, I mean the best companies, are offering you like, offering you like 3000 milliamp hours or four up to five for really low current discharge, low discharge, discharge current batteries, and someone completely no name for a fraction of the price offer you nine times more, there has to be a catch. Is there a catch? Yes, there is a catch. And to check this catch, I decided to test some of the batteries. The goal was simple. I just got a shitload of batteries and a device I already showed you some time ago, my discharger. Now, let's change the camera position. What I tested and how I tested. And first, let's answer the question, what? I went to China, to AliExpress and some other Places and I started buying batteries. 18650 batteries, no, not this one, like those. The criterion was simple. The cheaper, the better, and the more absurd capacity is written on them is better. Because, for example, this one is 6000 milliamp hours. This one is Mr. Henry. I love Mr. Henry. It's 12,000 milliamp hours, uh, ultra fire, 5,800, 5,000 milliamp hours, or 9,900, and over here I still have the 5,000 milliamp hours. So that was relatively simple. It took a few, few weeks for all the batteries to get there, and then I started testing. To test, I used my device I showed you few months ago. It's a battery of four resistor, a MOSFET that switches the resistor on off. Some cooling because this stuff is really getting hot after uh, discharging battery. Arduino that drives everything and the OLED display that gives you voltage. 
and because it knows the resistance it can compute current and thanks to this you know how much current goes through it you can compute capacity and the stored uh, power and milliamp hours watt hours and stuff like that how accurate is that i run some tests and apparently it's let's say up to 10% accurate. For my needs, more than enough. I compared with the clamp meters and the result more or less correlates with each other. So I'm not really like trying to give you exact, exact value because I know that in absolute measures this is like off, but in relative measures comparing one to each other, it's fine. Um, what I've been testing as well. Um, I also have two 18650 uh, batteries taken from old laptop ba uh, batteries. So I just had some, so I just pried it open, took them almost for free. And I also tested one Samsung INR18650 ICR30Q as, let's say, a benchmark for everything else. Then the battery was put into the holder. Uh, there was a run at one amp discharge and one not three runs like this and also a runs at 0.2 amp to check if there's a huge difference between one amp discharge and 0.2 amp discharge and in both cases the cutoff voltage was set to three volts i know i could discharge those batteries more but really did not want it because there the voltage is smaller it's dropping faster so Perhaps if I would be discharging this to, let's say, two and a half volts, the results would be better for some batteries at least. But all the batteries were tested in exactly the same way, so more or less it's fine. And now, now the results. For the results, let's go to the screen capture. Yeah, to the screen capture. The results. The results are, of course, entered, well, not of course, are entered into the spreadsheet, Google Docs. The link to this document in the read-only mode, sorry guys, is in the description so you can see by yourself what goes where. First, the benchmark, the good battery that probably is not lying with the price of 6.5 uh, 6 bucks per piece, capacity 3000 weight 46 grams and the internal resistance of 468 grams my charger can measure internal resistance so we have the resistance and the results of course instead of 3000 uh, with one amp it's only 2300 on the 02 it's 200 milliamps more but it's fine uh, the capacity that is usually given you by the manufacturer is with the relatively low current and uh, discharge voltage is much lower, two and a half, something like that volt. I was discharging only to three volts because let's say this is the, the really useful value that means anything to us. So, but overall, it's like yeah it's it's fine this is our benchmark this is our benchmark so if we go to the summary of the one amp discharge there is declared to measure 77 percent with the data sheet capacity with 65 milliamp hours per gram and what we will able to measure so that means the capacity in milliamp hours per gram less of course but this is our benchmark and the capacity to cost when for one dollar you are getting 355 milliamp hours and the same value for 0.2 amp discharge slightly different values next are super cheap used and really very very used batteries that costed that much when they were new but they were not new I almost killed those uh, laptop batteries. So here are the results. Of course, less, of course, less. And now, and now the magic begins. Because, for example, my favorite, Mr. Henry, with the declared 12,000 milliamp hours with one amp discharge, had only 900. It's less than 10% of the declared on 02 not much more come on 
Come on, what are we even talking about? And it was not cheap. Next one, 10,000, 600, 700, 5,000, 600, 5,000, 1,000. Not bad, actually, only one, one fifth of the of the capacity declared by the manufacturer in this test it's really like like kind of really good results probably the winners are the ultra fire brc 18650 because instead of 4200 they really had like 1000 and if we go to the summary we also have the data so bottom line mm, everybody lies and china lies twice that much because you never 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 really get what you paid for if you are buying really 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 cheap uh, it's not worth it it's not really worth it uh, what else can we say about the data itself it looks like there are um, two really all of those models either weigh uh, about 37 grams and have the capacity of around 1000 no matter how much the manufacturer or the seller or reseller will put on put the label on it's probably will be around 1000 as long as it weighs 66 uh, 36 37 grams <sighs> very optimistic not that much like i said the spreadsheet with all this information is in the description you can compare check and make your own opinion about buying cheap batteries from china overall verdict never absolutely never buy a battery 800 600 18 650 from china or any other supplier really honestly any other that costs you less than i don't know five bucks four bucks a unit has a capacity more than let's say 3000 milliamp hours for regular current uh, discharge or tops 4000 and really is from nine nine no name manufacturer because no 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. capacity for a price it's okay yeah but it's heavier it's uh, it's heavier it's not the quality you you you, you thought you paid for and the uh like, yeah quality is heavier and the capacity no so no really spare yourself a trouble and uh, really avoid buying batteries at least no name batteries from china because mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. nope okay and with that happy accent let's end for today until the next one bye bye